Hello YouTube, my name is Amul and you are watching Ease Coding. In this video, I'm going to show you how to open or launch Windows Terminal from a particular folder. So, let's get started. So, first thing first, you must have installed Windows Terminal from a Windows Store if you're using Windows 10. You might have already installed on Windows 11. If you don't find it, go ahead and install it from the store. And to launch it from a particular folder, you simply go to the folder. And let's say I have a folder on the desktop, so I'll go to this particular folder. And you can launch Windows Terminal with shortcut WT. And it will launch, it will launch in its default folder but if you want to open this launch in this particular folder you will have to use some arguments so wt hyphen d is in directory and dash is in the current directory so just go ahead and tap hit that and this will launch in this particular folder you can see so it's again wt dash and d and then period okay the period side and this will launch in this particular folder again similarly you can do right click using mouse and then open in the terminal and that's the easiest way if you don't want to do this wt dash d and then the period sign okay the other way let's say you are using command prompt You'll have to do the same thing. So desktop, and then intro. So you'll simply say wt dash g, period, and this will launch in this particular folder from command prompt as well. Similarly, goes with the PowerShell. So the command is very simple. wt dash d as in directory you can also give particular directory like full path let's say so it could be I think d d directory somewhere. or c let's say okay so full path it could be directory path but in our case it's going to be the current directory so that's how you can launch from particular folder if you in general want to launch uh, command sorry terminal you simply press the windows key and type wt and this launches in the particular default folder using your default uh, command prompt or terminal so in my case it's bash on your computer it could be command prompt or powershell or completely different thing like wsl all right so that's how you can do it thank you for watching bye for now